One of the techniques in spine surgery, I think it's kind of outdated, but a lot of guys still do it and I've done it, but I think it doesn't work all the time. I see higher failure rates. And one is, is when we do the fusion of the spine and the neck or the low back with what's called a standalone device. You just put the device in and sometimes it just has two little screws that hold it there and it's supposed to fuse together. The problem I've seen is a lot of non-unions. It hasn't healed properly. And a lot of doctors just take x-rays, but you really can't tell if there's a non-union without a CAT scan. So when I get the CAT scan, I see that it's cracked through there. It never really healed. And the reason is there's not enough support to hold the two bones. You know, when you break your arm, put it in a cast for six, eight weeks, right? Until the bone heals, to immobilize it. You need to lock the bone together so as the bone heals, it fuses. And this device allows too much mobility and it often fails.